Okay, Mom. I am actually looking up Earl Road right now. This is the road you can drive down this way to get to the property. That is the Angela Road or Angelica or whatever it is. And that is the entrance to the property where my car is. Uh, with the leash standing over there. Looks like it goes from this corner with the trash can there. The Lake Texoma trash. Uh, the fencing obviously is permanent as could be. It's the best fencing you could probably get. It's steel, uh, bark fencing, pipe fencing, uh, all around the property. Probably never have to worry about getting replaced or anything. Uh, it looks like the property goes up there to those telephone poles up there. Uh, there's a house from the road. Uh, it does look like this kind of fencing all the way around, except over here. Let's go with this the, this, this is the east side of the property over here. I should be walking on the north side right now on the road. Wow. What I just noticed is the house next to us has an Emmy Realtor sign on it, so it looks like it's also for sale. Uh, down there. There's still a lot of cars there. I can't tell. It doesn't look like it's a business. It looks like it's some kind of ranch or something. And so the end of the best fencing here comes down to uh, it's a combination of bob wire and a square type fencing all the way down the east side of the property here. If you can see that kind of fencing there. Uh, all the way down there is Bob Bar there, and it's also the square type. So, that's definitely the pasture there. Keep horses, cows, plant trees, whatever we wanted to do there, with of course the electrical poles in the middle of it. And just for the heck of it, it's not the call or anything. Look at the, for the house next to it, look at the sign here. Let's see, it says get pricing and photos, text EBBY to 47464, which we can't do with Metro PACS. And the number is 903-893-5921. That is 410 Earl Road. So anyway, that's the house next to it, just because I saw it. It looks like... That looks like a tennis court back there. Maybe it's just the pool we saw. So anyway. Uh, there is some type of shed out there on the property, which I didn't know about. Uh, I don't know if that's like a well water shed or, you know, like a pump house or if that's more of the, um, uh, you know, storage, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's nice out here. There's a propane tank at the end of the pasture here, I see. Most of the house there. Uh, so, good chance to use propane heat. I kind of like it, I have to admit. It's, it's, I kind of like how it's set up. It reminds me a little bit of crumb, but even nicer. And now there are trees that are obviously planted over here. On the entrance to the property, on both sides. And I don't know what kind of trees they are. But they're planted on each side of the drive. We're waiting for the realtor to show up right now. Uh, got the electrical box there. Oh, did they? Yeah. Big dogs came up the fence. They look friendly. Okay, so I don't know what these trees are planted on both sides of the road. They actually might need some trimming because they're going to end up starting blocking the road up there. Looks like they're planted a little too close. Uh, it's not a big deal. I don't mind cutting down the pine trees at any time. So, uh, anyway, uh, I will call this the end of video one just because we're waiting on the realtor to show up and uh, it gives you a good idea what the lease entrance looks like. The reason we're not going on to the property here is just because the gate's locked and I can't drive up. So I have to wait until the realtor shows up to do that. Anyway, this is the landscaping they've done for the front edge. There's a big old prickly pear cactus standing about five foot tall. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's very wide. It's, no, it's up there. That's not prickly pear. Oh, what is that? No, that's a different cactus. And then this is uh, 
another cactus here. I don't know what kind it is, but and it's going. Uh, it's probably about 11 foot tall. Uh, not bad. I kind of like it. It's just in this section. I guess it's done for looks and all, and it looks nice and very mature. Okay, I'm going to end this video, and I'll start up next one. I get a better view of what's going on to tape for you. Let's see.